Hello everyone. Welcome to Guru Schools and uh, online training and consulting company where we empower individuals like you to unlock their full potentials and achieve their goals. I'm thrilled to introduce myself and uh, through this uh, through this presentation I'm going to provide you an overview of our company and the Salesforce Einstein Analytics course, which is also known as WCRM. So let me introduce myself first. My name is Sumit, and I'm a Salesforce subject matter expert with Guru Schools, with a passion of education and a commitment to lifelong learning. And we have created a platform that brings the quality trainings right to your fingertips. So uh, first of all, let me give you an introduction about the company, what Guru Schools is, what's the features of Guru Schools. So Guru Schools, we offer a comprehensive sections of our online courses and training programs designed to meet the need of individuals at every stage of their professionals and professionals, personal and professional development. The Guru Schools was founded with a mission to support our inclusive community, provide training and placement services. Our virtual classrooms at Guru Schools provide a dynamic and interactive learning environment where you can engage with our subject matter experts, instructors and fellow learners from around the globe, around the world. At Guru Schools, our team of experienced professionals and subject matter experts are dedicated to deliver the, tra uh, the high quality training, high quality content that is both engaging and practical. We'll be also offering the hands-on experience, real world case studies and practical assignments as an integral part of our course. So this is about the Guru Schools. Next, the six pillars of Guru Schools. This is the key feature of a Guru Schools, you can say, and the six pillars are, we'll be providing the instructor-led training. So four to six weeks of uh, formal instructor-led live interactive trainings. This can, this can get extended up to eight weeks, depends on the course curriculum. After the completion of the training, we'll be providing the course completion certificate, which is well recognized. We'll also help in the resume preparation based on the training, based on your experience. We'll guide you in preparing the resumes. Along with the training uh, or after the training gets completed, we'll help you in the interview preparation. Some mock interviews, we'll conduct the mock interviews with the participants. Vendor interviewing, coaching preparation, we'll be helping them out that what kind of questions they might be expecting during the client interview. And also we'll be offering them, we'll be helping them in the project support, the project placement and ongoing project support for up to six months. So these are the six unique features of Guru Schools, which makes the Guru School different from the other training companies. So here is the Einstein Analytics Trainings eight weeks plan. Einstein Analytics, so don't get confused with the Einstein Analytics or WCRM. They are one and the same thing. Initially, it was known as Einstein Analytics. Right now, also, we can call it as an Einstein Analytics, but we can also name it as a WCRM. After 2019, when Salesforce acquired the W company, so they renamed it as a and WCRM also. Basically, it can be also called as a WCRM. So that's the eight weeks plan. And in this eight weeks, we will be going to cover from beginning to end, from the uh, novice to the at novice to the expert. We'll uh, will provide the training. We'll deliver the training of all the concepts which is required to be a Salesforce or to prepare yourself as a Salesforce Einstein developer or a Salesforce Einstein consultant. So in order to show you more capabilities of Einstein analytics, I have prepared one demonstration on Einstein analytics where I will be going to show you that how can we use the Salesforce external connectors in Einstein in order to connect 
to a different Salesforce instance to fetch the data from uh, in, from external Salesforce to the current Einstein analytics, and we can uh, we can do visualization on that data. So in order to do this, we'll be having two Salesforce connections, two Salesforce subscript registrations. One will be called as a source. One will be the target. The source one will be the Salesforce, which from where we would like to fetch the data. And the target one will be which contain which is registered with the Einstein analytics. So let me show you practically how do we do this. This is my Einstein instance or the Tableau CRM instance, and that's my developer's account. And here I got a candidate object, and I would like to visualize this data, visualize the uh, this object into my Tableau CRM instance. And so let's begin and let's have a look how can we do that. So first of all, uh, you need to have the developers access on this Tableau CRM instance or Einstein instance. Then click on create button, click on data set, external data. It will take you to the data manager. In data manager, click on connect and in connect, click on connect to data. Here you have various connectors, input connectors, MuleSoft connectors or live connectors. Uh, one SFDC local connector is already connected. It is already available, which is connected to the, uh, the associated instance, associated Salesforce instance with this Einstein analytic or Tableau instance. So I'm going to create a new connection. I'm going to establish a connectivity with, with a different or my, uh, my source Salesforce developers org. So I click on add connection, click on Salesforce external connector, connection name. I just call this as source underscore Salesforce connector. Developer name, description, visualize data from source external org. Here we need to provide the username. So my username for the source Salesforce instance is this. That's the service URL. So it's basically it's using SOAP connector and password. So password contains the password and security token. And uh, I, I believe I'm sure that all of you guys are familiar how, familiar how to fetch the secure, how to get the security token. If you are not sure about it, you can visit my previous videos where I have explained how to reset security token in a Salesforce instance. So I just paste my password, you password with security token and click on save and test. And when I click on save and test, if the connection is established successfully, I'll got a message connection test was successful. Click on continue and now we are good to start. So I click on Salesforce, uh, source Salesforce connector. Sorry about the misspelling mistake. And if you want to edit, we have an option. We can edit the connection. So I can just customize it once again. See this so we can rename and save and test again and continue and if you want to delete this connection we have an option but i want to use this connection so i click on this connection and in this connection i'm going to look for that object so which object we are targeting the candidate object so i just look for candidate object that's a custom object so i select candidate object and click on continue then select the fields so we can select the fields so I just select my fields quickly, what fields I'm looking for. Email ID, phone number, date of birth, experience. Click on continue. And finally, click on save. Finally, click on save. So connection is established successfully. And now what we need to do is, we need to scroll down to source Salesforce connector and run data sync it's important to run data sync so that the synchronization will be done and uh, uh, data uh, basically the connection will establish successfully and the syncing will start between the two salesforce org and once the syncing is done once the synchronization is completed 
then we'll be going to create a new data set using data flow. So we'll be using custom data flow to create a new data set because this will only secure the connectivity between uh, this will only uh, synchronize the connection between two data so two salesforce of einstein and these uh, the target the source salesforce of but the data set is not yet created so now i click on data flows and recipe that is the next step so we have completed the first step that's the next part now so in next part we need to click on data flow i've already created a data flow name at custom data flow so i just click on data flow and here i'm going to use this digest so I click on digest node name. I'll just call digest underscore candidate node. connection name. I'm going to use this one, not the local one source object. There is only one object right now. That's a candidate and the fields. So I just select the fields which I would like to include in visualization in the data so in the data source in the target data set. So I just select the fields. We can get the output fields and click on create. Now you know there is one uh, node is there. SFDC registered is very important because if you want to uh, query on the data or if you want to create lenses or uh, any query on the data set, it's mandatory to register the data. So I click on SFDC register. I just write SFDC register underscore candidate. Source node will be SFDC digest, and I call this as candidate data set. Candidate underscore data set. Create and update data flow. Run data flow. Go to data monitor. Okay, Elias, sorry, my mistake. It should be uh, just Elias and yeah. save, update data flow. It happens sometimes. So go to data monitor and it will be running now. See, it's, it's running. So this got failed because of the uh, alias. I, I add a space in a alias so is equal to the developer name. So space is not allowed in developer name. So I missed that. And let's wait for this process to finish. So you can see this operation completed successfully. And if I just expand this data flow, you can see there are 17 records. Fetched. Let's go and check. And uh, let me check the data set name. The data set name I set as candidate data set. So let's go and check the data set name is candidate data set. That's my candidate data set. And now we can visualize the data. So this information is coming from, it, it extracted this information from a different Salesforce org. And now if you want, we can do visualization. And if I just want, um, count of rows and group by and group by experience. So we can display there are total 17 records are there and that's the breakup of that particular uh, record. So the, uh, what all services offered by the Guru School. So we will be offering the free IT training. We'll be off, uh, like as I've already mentioned that we'll be providing the free certification, the, the course completion certification. We'll be offering the interview support and the project support for the six months. So any one of you want to, uh, like if any one of you require more info about the course program, the course curriculum, you can reach out, you can visit the website called www.guruschools.com or you can contact on the given numbers or you can drop an email at the training at the guruschools.com. That's all for the day. Thanks for watching everyone. Have a nice day. Bye everyone.